All right, good morning class. So today I am going to show you um, in this video how to take your elements in Illustrator and bring them into um, Animate. And um, I keep telling you it's very or it's very important to organize your layers um, so that it makes it just so much easier for you to transfer your images into uh, Animate. Okay, so this is, um, I'm using actually Oscons as my example um, <clears throat> for this part of the, um, the project where we're at right now, because I think it's a perfect example. So you can see here that Oscon filled his page with um, his background, his planets, stars, UFO, so forth. Um, and you can see that it's organized here. So you have your background, you have your UFO in a separate layer, you have your planets in a separate layer, you have your stars in a separate layer, and then I have the flag in another layer. Um, so if you haven't organized your layers, I would try to make sure that they're fairly organized. It'll just make it again, like I said, so much easier to work. Uh, reason being is, let's say I wanted to first drag in my black background. I can, if I try to, actually if I select it, it's totally fine, but this may not work with everything. Um, if you might, you might select something and then it's selecting everything else around it. Like, so for instance, if I went to try and like say, okay, I'm going to select the, the stars, it starts selecting everything in the picture. Um, but if you go ahead and lock all your layers, except for your stars, and I can literally click and drag over the entire image, you can see that it's just selecting the stars from the page, um, and nothing, um, nothing else, or I can select them separately. All right, um, but it's just really important to make sure it's organized because then you want it to be organized in Animate. So um, you're going to want to start by dragging each of your layers in um, and creating layers and animate for them. But um, each layer should be like one of your moving layers. So uh, you might have like you know if I have a few stars moving. Um, and uh, the UFO moving and the flag moving, I would want all these things to be different layers. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Animate and I'm going to create my file. You guys should already have your file. It should be um, 1920 by 1080. And you wanna do f uh, 24 frames per second. And we're working in pixels, right? You want to make sure it's HTML5 canvas, hit OK, and then you have your screen. Oops. Okay, there we go. Um, now, I said you can import into, export and import, but you can also just take it from Animate. So I'm going to select my background. I'm going to do Control C to um, copy it. And I'm going to go to uh, here and I'm going to do Control V to paste it, hit OK. Okay, now I have my background. Um, I'm going to create a new layer for every item that I create um, that will be moving. So like for instance, my next layer, I'm going to select the planets because I don't think that, I don't know what Oscon's doing, but <laughs> for my um, example, I'm not going to make the planets move. So I'm going to lock every layer besides the planets. I'm going to drag over this and so you can see that it's selecting just my planets and I'm going to do control C to copy it and I'm going to go to animate and I'm going to do control V to paste it into place and you can see that I created that layer called planets. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer um, and my new layer um, sorry I'm getting confused but where I need to go. My new layer um, I'm going to do the UFO so I'm going to lock everything but the UFO layer Okay. And um, before I bring him in, I actually might group him, meaning like right now the UFO layer is um, all separate pieces or parts. So if I go and move it, it's a separate part. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over just the UFO and I'm going to do control G. So think about group. And what that does is it groups all the pieces together, okay, so that it's like one solid object now. You only want to do this obviously if 
uh, nothing is moving. So like, I'm just going to have the, um, I'm just going to have the, uh, the UFO move, but not the, uh, the alien himself. So I'm going to do control C. I'm going to go to animate. I'm going to do control V hit. Okay. I got my UFO. Hey, where's his background? All right. Well, um, we're going to pretend right now, like he doesn't have a background just to make this go on, go by quicker. But um, he should have that white background. If he doesn't for some reason, like mine, I would go back and fix it. But for my, for this video, I'm just going to keep it with his little black background. Maybe it's clear. You can't see through it. Okay. Um, I'm going to create a new layer and in that new layer, I am, whoops, I'm going to go back to illustrator. Um, I'm not going to do the flag yet and I'll explain why. Um, that will be in another video, but I'm going to bring my, um, my stars in. Okay. So, um, I'm going to bring them in as a group and let's see how that works. I'm going to lock everything else, bring in my stars together. You control C I'm going to go to animate and I'm, I create a new layer. I'm going to do control V I'm going to hit okay. And now my stars are in. Okay. And notice that you can move them separately, right? But it was just easier to bring them in as whole like that. You can kind of reposition, oops, everything. Um, whoops. Okay. I'm not going to touch that right now. <laughs> um, so this is how I want you to set up and begin. Um, in my next video, I'm going to go over, um, animation aspects. So how long I'd like your frames to be. Um, I want the flag to move back and forth. Um, so I'm going to go over that too. Um, and in my next video, I'm just going to go over like uh, looping. So just looping animation, no buttons yet, just looping animation. All right.